Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. Welcome to my video series, The Filters of Aurora HDR 2018. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the HDR Structure Filter. Now, the HDR Structure Filter, more so than any other filter in Aurora HDR 2018, is capable of giving you that, quote, HDR look. And when I say HDR look, those of you that are familiar with HDR know that several years ago when it was introduced, many photographers went a little bit overboard with that HDR processing. And their images often came up very uh, kind of grungy, hyper-realistic, um, you know, super, super sharp, overly sharp. And many of us started calling that an HDR look, and many of us didn't like that look. Well, with this filter, you could achieve that look if that's something you're looking for, but it also is a little bit more than that. You also could kind of get the opposite of that look and really soften your image with this filter. Now, it's very simple. As you can see, it's just uh, five sliders in two different sections. And the first slider is the amount slider is exactly what you would think it is. It's, it's just the amount of the effect, kind of like a volume control on a radio. And if you turn it up, you'll be increasing the effect. And you can see that's that hyper-realistic uh, HDR look that I'm talking about. But the cool thing about this filter and this slider is if I move it all the way to the left, it really softens everything and we get kind of this real kind of ethereal look to the image. So that's kind of cool. And you could do that all with just this one slider, this amount slider. Now, I'm going to just turn it up a little bit. And what you could see now, the softness slider, that's kind of a confusing slider. And what you, I th the way I think of it, it's kind of a backwards clarity slider. Those of you that use Lightroom know that with the clarity slider, if you move it to the right, you'll kind of increase midtone contrast, which makes the image look sharper. If you move it to the left, it makes the image softer. Well, this slider, because it's called softness, it kind of does that same thing, but backwards. So if I move it to the right, it makes everything softer. Now, let me see if I could better show. So I move it to the right, and you can see how it's making everything softer. If I move it to the left, it makes everything sharper. So it works a little bit like that clarity slider in Lightroom, except it's backwards. So that's the way to think of that. Now the boost slider is just kind of going over the top. That's kind of like a, a gain control on an amp. You really could just really boost everything. Or you could just take away any type of pre-amplification kind of to this uh, to the other two sliders so you can make everything much softer so if we want to we could move the amount and the boost all the way down and softness all the way to the right and we kind of maximize the softness in the image conversely if I reverse these sliders and move the amount and boost all the way to the right and the softness all the way to the left I increase the sharpness and we really get this over the top really HDR look so that's these three sliders. And one thing I didn't mention in the previous videos, if you want to reset any of the filters, you can see in the top uh, on the uh, part of the filter, there's this little backward circular arrow. If you just click on that, it will reset the sliders to their default positions. So that's a really handy tip to do. Also, you could turn the filter off to see a before or after by hitting this little eyeball right there. Okay, so we'll reset that. We'll go on to the second part of the HDR structure filter, and it's microstructure. And this just really will affect the smaller, uh, more uh, like delicate things that are in your image. And what I'd like you to do is if you look at the floor down here, and you'll see as I turn the HDR microstructure amount up, you can see how the floor gets a little sharper and a little more contrasty like that. And the softness again is that same type of effect that the other softness slider does. If you move it to the right, it's kind of like moving the, the uh, clarity slider in Lightroom to the left. It's going to make everything a little softer. 
And if you move it to the left, it will be like that clarity slider being moved to the right, making everything a little more crisper and sharper. So it kind of works backwards. So if you have a lot of, um, you know, like minute detail in your image and you want to bring out that minute detail, you would use this HDR microstructure slider to bring out that minute detail. And you can see if you look at the backs of the pews, as I move this to the right, you can see we're increasing some of the uh, sharpness and clarity in that area, but it's not really affecting like the larger items as much. It's just that micro part. And then you could use the softness slider to either take the edge off a little bit or maybe just make it a touch more sharper by moving it to the left. So that's the HDR structure filter in Aurora HDR 2018. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.